Hey guys, it's Jamie. We are on a sewing cruise, sew and sail eight right now. And we are gonna make a little project because it is hot outside here in the Caribbean. And we're gonna make something to carry your water bottle. So let's dive right into this one. With the construction of the upper accent, we are going to develop a drawstring. So let's take our piece of one inch by 20 inch of either faux leather, cork, or whatever fabric you choose, or some of you may choose a pre-made drawstring, like a rope or a shoelace. But if we are creating it, we're gonna take the piece of fabric and fold a quarter of an inch over and sew it. If you are using our Sally Tomato faux leather, there's a lot of stretch to the legacy and the weave faux leather. So when you are sewing it, go slow and steady to ensure that the fabric isn't stretching as you sew. Trim any wrong side showing on your newly formed strap. The next step is take piece E and mark the center middle piece 1.5 inches down. This will be the middle of the grommet placement. And then we will attach the grommet. On the cruise, I didn't quite have the right tools, but we made it work with a stiletto and a pair of scissors. We made sure to cut away a hole at least as big, but hardly any bigger than the small hole of the grommet. If you want to add a little bulk behind, you can add a piece of craft tex, another piece of faux leather or cork, or even some cotton, just to give it a little bit of weight behind the grommet to hold it in place. Then we stick in the female side of the grommet and follow that up with the male side. When ready to clamp the grommet, if using something with a clean finish like gold or nickel, I like to cover the face of the pliers so that it doesn't scratch the surface. Now we're jumping over to piece F, the exterior pocket. We're going to fold in a quarter inch on each side just to get rid of the raw edges and we are going to sew down. We're going to do the same thing along the top of the pocket as well. Now place piece F centered on top of piece A. Let about a third of an inch hang off past the bottom of piece A. You want to fold and clip the hangover and then sew it. Also sew up the left and the right side of piece F. This creates the exterior pocket. So your connected pocket should now look like this. Next, we're gonna work on our strap tabs and attach the D-rings. So with the half inch hardware, we're gonna take our tab and make sure that the width is only a half inch. When you're cutting the length for these tabs, make sure you have enough comfortable length to be able to weed it through the D-ring and be able to sew it down without getting too close to the hardware. So that might be two and a half inches or three and a half inches. It kind of depends on you and your machine and whatever you're comfortable with. We're going to find the center point of main piece A along the top and measure three inches out on the left and the right side from that center point. That will be a placement for the tabs. We will place the raw end of the tab on the top part and face the hardware down. Now we will go back to piece E, the piece that we attach the grommet to. And from the right side, we will weed the drawstring through and clip on the wrong side on each left and right end like in the image here. Then we will fold wrong sides together. We will attach with clips to the top of main piece and sew across, connecting the upper accent to the main body. Take your time with this as it'll be sewing through multiple layers. Once you finish that, take it back over to the table and press away and then top stitch again. This time with the hardware of the tabs sticking up. As you can see now, it's starting to come together. 
So now you want to bring the right sides together and sew along the open end. So the captain just announced that we're in Roatan. I'm going to get off and go check out what this island has. We'll be back to finish this in a little bit. So we had about an hour to waste. We got off the ship, went right to the taxi cabs, and it was only 35 bucks and we sure found something cool. So we're here in Roatan just hanging out. Um, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get that beak too close. My forehead. <laughs> there we go. Look at you, cute guy. After the fantastic animal experience, we hopped the cab back to port. I picked my wife up some local coffee, and I went back to the sewing room to finish up the Ronin. So with the main piece and the accent piece now sewn together, with the right side still together, we're going to clip the mesh bottom around the bottom of the main piece. We are going to sew on the inside of the cylinder. Once that's finished, we will turn the bag right side out through the top opening. You'll want to get in there and nicely form out the bottom and make sure that all the crevices are pushed out so that the Ronin is looking nice. Next, we're going to jump over to the adjustable strap. You're going to put right sides together and then sew across here. Fold the top layer back and then sew across again. Most of you guys know how to piece together straps as well as how to connect the slider buckle and the swivel hooks. So I will leave it at that. If you are curious, you can watch our tutorial where Jess does a fantastic job of explaining how to create adjustable straps. But I am excited because we are finished. All right, so I finished mine here and Anthony finished theirs. Uh, no side tabs and crossbody because Anthony didn't want the crossbody. So we're gonna put these to use tomorrow in Mexico. See ya. We are in Mexico and it is hot. So no need to worry, I have my water holder. Water in a can, kind of. So we are finally ashore in Costa Maya, Mexico. This is the ship we are on, the Allure, awesome. And here is our girl, Frida. Cigars? Coconuts? Clearly I was excited to get in the tropical weather and also show off my new Ronin. The Ronin helped me keep hydrated all day. Pretty cool. But then back on the ship that night, we had some hidden camera footage from the casino. We discovered a new use for the Ronin. The Ronin is the perfect wine bottle carry. <laughs> I hope you guys have as much fun as I did making and using Ronin because that's what it's all about. Happy sewing.